One of our favorite things about Bangkok is all of the night markets they've got in this city. Tonight, we're at the One Rachata. It's one of the newest markets in town, and they should have a bunch of great street food, hopefully some cool shopping, and some live music. So, let's go see. First impressions of this place, it is super curated, very well put together. It's almost more like an outdoor mall than a night market. I can see what they mean when we were looking up the reviews that said bye-bye or the colored tents in the old world culture and in with the new fanciness. It's a cute place. There's even this little analog film camera shop. He like walks around. You didn't see it? See? You could freak me out with that little guy. This thing is terrifying. It's like so tall. We have been winding our way through the maze that is the one rachata and it is awesome. Lots of great looking food. We haven't really picked anything out yet because we kind of just wanted to see what was here before we settled on something. at this really cute little restaurant with a ton of neon lights. We got an order of rainbow shots, which were pretty stacked, so we're feeling really good right now. We're very, very hungry though. I saw tenderloin for 109 baht, I think. Also probably gonna grab a potato. But yeah, I'm really excited to try out this tenderloin. Let's go see what it's like. That is what you wanted, right? Yeah. Stuffed chilies, it's kimchi and pork. Very excited. Oh, 15 minutes? Okay. Oh. Should I come back? Okay. Uh, but she was trying to explain to me something about the food. I thought she said it was going to be 15 more minutes, so I handed her my phone to talk, and she handed it back, and the translation said, I've eaten pillows. It makes me wonder how many of our translations are just, just the like, worst. Yeah. It feels like a lot of them are. Though. Most of them, probably, yeah. yeah. That is probably the highlight of the night so far. Uh, it looks like some of the shops are closing up already. I hope we didn't miss our opportunity to eat good food because we were messing around. I got what I wanted. Ashley's got her heart set on steak apparently. She said she saw it somewhere. We just watched 
that. That was, that was, that was crazy. Said it was good, but I don't know about that. <laughs> I feel like now I can eat a bunch of things, but I don't think I could ever eat that, if I'm being real. Now I gotta find Ashley. Oh my God, it's like the little creepy cat ice cream we ate at the mall. There's gonna be some onions and tomato with it, so that should be good. Ashley's got me going to find her a potato. I have no idea where I'm gonna find this potato. She said it was this way and up. Hey, guy, I love you. Chata night market and it is awesome. I really think that people are sleeping on this night market. For whatever reason, it hasn't gained the popularity like Jod Fairs and Chata Chat, but I think it's really, really cool. It is a little bit bigger than Jod Fairs, but it does have the same aesthetic. It's very kind of hip and cool and very curated. We haven't tried a ton of the street food. Unfortunately, I haven't had much of an appetite with me feeling a little sick, but that being said, we got dinner right now and I'm really excited. We didn't go traditional Thai like I initially planned, but this just looked too good to pass up. I got some beef tenderloin and it comes with this little dipping sauce. I'm not sure what it is. And then I also got a baked potato, which is not something that I expected to find in Thailand before I came here. I actually see these everywhere, but this is the first time that I'm trying it in the months that I've been in Southeast Asia. So really excited to give this a try. We're gonna wash it all down with the Chong beer and then probably call it a night. I absolutely love these little spoons that come with everything. They're like the perfect utensil. I guess I'll try the steak first. It looks really well cooked. The people working the booth were really, really sweet. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh! It's very, very peppery. <laughs> It's got a lot of flavor jam-packed in there. Lots of pepper. I don't know what this sauce is. It smells a little sweet. Mmm. Mmm. That sauce is great. All of this was 109 baht, which I think is a great deal. Okay, now I'm gonna try this delicious potato. She like flame-torched it with all this fire. It was this big spectacle. It was so cool, so I'm really excited. She put some bacon bits on there and just loaded this thing with cheese. That was a mouthful of cheese. They should put mayonnaise on it too. This is amazing. <laughs> I've noticed this about Southeast Asia, but Thailand specifically. The mayonnaise and the butter is much sweeter than the variety that we have in the United States. And at first I wasn't a big fan of it, but for whatever reason it works really, really, really well with this potato, so, mm, yeah. So I got two things to try. I got this beef skewer and I got these pork and kimchi stuffed chilies. I'm gonna try those first because they've been sitting the longest. So they're gonna be the coldest. But she covered them in barbecue sauce and sesame seeds. And I was like, yeah, send it. Mmm, these are awesome. The chili's not hot at all, very mild. Like not spicy. Yeah, not hot or not spicy. It reminds me of the filling you would get in gyoza. I don't taste any kimchi at all. The barbecue sauce is a little sweet, a little soy saucy, and then the sesame seeds just add that toastiness that they do. These are really good. This is a beef barbecue skewer, and then it's got a little chili up top and a tomato. Mmm. Tastes like pizza. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how to describe it. Weird. Tastes like a cheese pizza from Pizza Hut. That's strange. 
I do hope we get some of this dessert before they close up. Mmm, pizza. We're getting ready to leave, but we could not leave before getting this last dish. It is grilled marshmallows with ice cream, and I am so excited. It looks really, really good. Mm. I don't know, maybe Thai tea? Thai tea? Okay. Yeah. Can we get one Thai tea? Yeah. Uh, ice cream, what tea? Uh, yeah, this one. Papun <laughs> Ah, thank you. Oh, we didn't get the marshmallow. There was a little bit of a translation error. Ice cream mochi. Uh, yeah, this one. And I ended up with mochi instead of the marshmallow ice cream. But I am still really happy because we got Thai tea mochi, which I've never tried before. And if you guys know anything about us by now, you know that we love Thai tea, so. Super good. <laughs> I'm very cold. <laughs> I can't talk because it's so cold, but it's really good. It tastes exactly like Thai tea, so not mad about it. Oh man, it is like really cold Thai tea. <laughs> it is, it's so good. Mochi ice cream for the win. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a subscribe. We really, really appreciate it, and we will see you in the next one. We've spent about four, four years. <laughs> Maybe a long time. Thank you so much for coming along with us on this journey. <laughs> this is not a journey.